Hey, anyway. So, um, per the song that was played, you already know our guest, and it's Kofi Owusu-Pepra, who is a music minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He's also a composer and an instrumentalist. Yes, he's very, very talented. And that's a, an amazing song. Even though I highly listen to gospel, I'll come clean with that fact. I actually appreciate only one song from Kofi, and that's the one with Amy Newman, uh, Nyamit Siase. Exactly. And... I can't start off this interview without asking you how that collaboration, that feature came about. Because yeah. Emmy is somebody who hardly features people. Exactly. And she's been off the music yeah. scene for a long time. So actually, like, how did it happen? Thank you so much, Nana. It's, it's always a pleasure to grace your beautiful studio. You have a very beautiful studio. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm um, Emmy Newman. Thank you so much, Mommy. Uh, I mean, Amy just jumped on my, my, when I say Amy, it's because uh, she's my mother, you know, <laughs> with all due respect. Mm. But mommy Amy, she's my, she's a mother. Uh, we, have a, we have quite a history because my father wrote a song for her, okay. you know, so the relationship started way back. Way back. Mm -hmm. It started with my father. Mm -hmm. So she, we have a relationship due to that relationship that she had with my father, or she still has with my father. So I called her on the song and I, I gave her the song. She listened to the song and she said, this is uh, theoretically, I mean, theologically sound, mm -hmm. so to speak. It has, it has a good theology, the, the, the dogma and everything is, 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 is sound. So I think I can jump on the song and it fits my style. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and you being somebody I know, I saw you grow. So, <laughs> so you, you already had the protocol. Exactly, exactly. So. <laughs> okay. and the protocol. The protocol, yeah. so, the protocol the exactly. Protocol, yeah. And I'm a brand new protocol. <laughs> But, you know, for, for somebody who is, let's say, an, an underground artist, exactly. be it a gospel exactly. musician, and getting someone renowned like that, exactly. the person who say, that is, oh, my biggest achievement. But then mm. I want to find out from you, ever since you joined the Ghanaian music industry, what has been your biggest achievement so far? Uh, we, we, well, a lot of them. You know, the fact that I've, I've, I've been in, in it for not, not for so long, mm -hmm. for, I think, four years, but... I, I'm, I'm gaining some kind of relevance, mm -hmm. you know. It's, 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 it's a big achievement to see that people are listening to your songs, people are actually DMing you about how your song is impacting them. Yeah. And that's the, that's, that's the most fulfilling yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And if you're a musician, a gospel musician at that, you should be looking at that above every other thing. Mm -hmm. that, the impact that your song is having on the spiritual lives of people. Yeah. Because what we're doing is highly spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. Irrespective of... Of yeah. how, you know, it, it, sometimes industry minded we might be, you know, focusing on the awards, which are not bad in itself. Mm -hmm. But then again, there is the most important thing yeah. that your songs will give a spiritual therapy to people. When they listen to your songs, they would reconsider their decision of committing suicide. Mm -hmm. They reconsider their decision yeah. of giving up. Mm -hmm. That's the main That's thing. That's enough you know. fulfillment for you. It, it's yeah. big. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's big. Yesterday I was asking um, uh, Ohima Messi yeah. about BVs. And, you know, how she had done that for a while before mm. coming out as a mainstream artist. I know you've done that for a very long time. Yeah. Um, through that period, what, what was going through your mind? Were you really considering, you know what, I've got to be on my own one day. Or, you know, I'm going to be a BV. Like, I'm just going to be there. Or at what point did you think that I've got to do this on my own? Okay, so we, 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 we entered the whole BV thing, back in vocalist, mm. the ministry. <laughs> you know, it's a ministry in yeah. itself. Because the leaders will tell you, the lead vocalist will tell you the role of these backing vocalists. They, 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 they make a greater part of the song. I'm mm. you more know? So I entered that, that field for the love of, of music, the love of, I just loved being part of good music. So irrespective of where you place me, you know, as long as it is good music, it is music that especially talks about my creator, Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in for it. So I've been there and I've been doing that selflessly, backing people selflessly, not necessarily looking for something in return. Trust me. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. You know, when, when, because, of, because of my major program, you know, mm. he gave me some kind of space okay. to, to focus on my... And, and, and back to your question, that comes naturally. It gets to a time where your leader realizes that, no, my man or my, 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 the woman or the man in my group has to be given the opportunity to stand on its own. You know, it's something that happens. And I cannot tell people that this is a sign that it's time is up, you know. But you, you, you need to, to listen to yourself, you know, your intuition. And also, sometimes your leader will tell you, my brother, 
Because at times, Joe, Joe Metal, when I say Joe, I mean Brad Joe Metal, mm -hmm. Joe Metal has been give, calling me on stage. When he's on stage, he calls me, gives me the microphone impromptu without even telling me he'll be joining me. You mm -hmm. know, like, guy, take, it, take over, let's go. So, you know, naturally it comes. So if, when you, if you're backing somebody listening to me, just, just take your time, enjoy the journey. Because you need to grow. Yeah. You need to mm -hmm. grow. Yeah. How long have you been doing this for? I've been doing it over six years. Six years? Yeah, six years. I've been doing it over six years. Uh, especially when I was leaving the university. It started when I was leaving the university. You know, my final year in the university, I had the opportunity to be back in Akesa Brimpon. And oh, a lot, a lot of yeah. uh, there are a lot on the list. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I personally know, know that he, he's a choir director. Also, so he, exactly. when he's talking about good music, he knows what he's talking about. Thank you. But I mean, we'll talk about your events that is coming That's up it. in a bit. That's it. But, but your father's influence can never be underestimated exactly. when it comes to the impact it's in everything. your life. And you always say that also as a young kid growing up in a pastor's house, and knowing that he wrote music, he did music, impactful music like this one. Yeah. The Matrain we listen to is yeah. your dad's song. Exactly. You, you know, um, re Sample. refixed. Sample. Yeah. Refixed. I refixed. <laughs> refixed. Re I didn't sample it. I refixed. <laughs> refixed. Refixed. Oh, okay. <laughs> refixed it. <laughs> At that point, <laughs> then I, no, if he's going to sample, he will go to daddy. Oh. Daddy, I want to sample. Uh, and song. daddy will get royalty, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sample, you get royalty. Exactly. Now no, 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 it's in line. I it's mean, in before, line. before he been to mine, I mean, how did you say so, that to daddy? Uh, no, I had to. I had to. My, my, dad tell, my, my daddy tells me that, uh, Charlie, I've wrote all my songs to you. I've wrote all of them to you. Oh, I mean, Charlie, okay. uh, uh, if I say go soon fast, where then? <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm grateful to you, daddy. God bless you. I won't disappoint you. Mm. Yeah. So, so, I mean, growing up then, He's, was it always like your pastor's kid, so you've got to, or you had the passion to sing, or I mean, I really get want to understand how kids who live, mm. who come out from yeah. such homes, is that they've got to be like their dads, mm. like all their mothers, or so from I mean, mm. those kind of things. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, um, you see, when it comes to the gospel gospel ministry, you have to be called. Yeah. You know, it goes. Be, it, it, it's it's quite different from just picking up a, a, just a talent from your father. You need to learn to study to show yourself approved. You know, you need to you need to be called. It's not enough being a sofa bar. Mm. You need to know God for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you're singing the song, it has to minister to you. Then then the power backs the song out of the understanding with which you're ministering. You know, so I my father has introduced me, had introduced me to gospel music, contemporary gospel music, Don Moyne, Ron Kennelly, and all of that. But I got to a point in my life where I had to sit down and then really calculate, you know, what it took to be a legit minister. You know, you need to cut these things from your life. You need, you need to do this. You need to be very careful with, you know, your relationship, you know, with, with opposite sex, with that, with that. If you see a woman, you will have her marry her. Move, you know, don't. You, see, you need to, you know, you, you need, to, you need to, to come to terms with what you're getting yourself into and know the do's and the don'ts of it, you know. So it goes beyond being a sufferer. I can be singing and then be disgracing God behind closed doors. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that brings, before we move into that, concept, sometimes yeah. I love to... <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I love to understand certain things. Yeah, you no, see, no. when I was introducing you, I mentioned that you were a minister of, um, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, no, no. And you're also an artist. Yes, no, As no. Kofi, Kofi Pepra also, yeah. how do you want your music and your ministry represents you mm. as an artist or a man of God or both? It, it, it's it's both, okay. you know. So you are going for both. Yes, because okay. I'm an artist. Whether you like it, I'm an artist because I perform music. Music is an yeah. act, mm -hmm. you know. But but what kind of music are we doing? Okay. We are, we are doing a music that about a man, mm -hmm. and if we are not reflecting that man, then then what are we doing? You know. Okay. Second Corinthians five twenty. The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ. Ambassadors of Ghana in South Africa behave like Ghanaians in South Africa. They do their stuff like yeah. Ghanaians. They represent yeah. Ghana in South Africa. Yeah. You cannot be an ambassador of Ghana in South Africa and then be doing things like an European. You understand? <laughs> so if I'm an ambassador of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, then I ought to be like him. Okay. 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 Yeah. So okay. We are both. Yeah. The minister exactly. and also the artist. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your concert. concert. Yeah. 22nd May. I'm, 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 I'm asking Ghana to come and support me with all humility. You know. Was it? theme for the concept the father's gift the father's the gift. father's gift. gift the father's yeah. gift you know the father's gift being the gift that god gave my father because my father had a father you know <laughs> and his father also had a father you know so the father in heaven eh, the bible says that the same who descended 
also ascended and gave gifts to man. So the Father's gift, the gift from heaven to my okay. Father, and he's passed it on to me. You know? So the same way, when you come for my program on the 22nd of May, be expecting a gift from the Father. In the second, that's a... Uh, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. Sunday. Su yeah, a week, but, from, a the week from the Sunday, exactly. Okay. This, this week is 15th. Yeah. yeah. So the following week, 22nd, 4 p.m. at the National Theatre. Um, I'm going to turn into an angel. Is, yeah. is this yeah. going to be something, <laughs> an annual thing that is definitely, going to happen? So definitely. So this, this is going to be the maiden. The maiden. Oh. The maiden one. It's going to be awesome. The maiden, we're putting everything in it, Nana. Yeah. You have to be there, Nana. You will Nana. Love, after, after that, you will love gospel music more. I more. <laughs> no, I said more. I qualified more. it. More. Nana, I qualified it. I do it. love... I said I more. Don't love <laughs> so, but I don't listen to it. You listen yeah. to it more. You, you listen to it more. more. Yeah. <laughs> and who are the guests? You know, you have you have on this. I have, I have my mother, Amy Newman. Okay. I call her my mother. And the father himself. Himself, the father, Reverend George Osman, will be there. Ify Grace. Yeah. Niela, the 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 the, the female. Yeah. 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 I have Mimi Chung crying. I have a lot of people over there. Sami or being Buku. Family, you don't want to miss it. I'm going to be there. Kofi Usubepra. Yeah. Every time. It's worship time. It's worship time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? We are going to, uh, I think we have some time to yes. check out one more. When we come back, we wrap up um, with him. Then yeah. we give us a freestyle in the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we've got another tune. I think then Yamiti has it. Nana yeah. favorite tune. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so we can Thank play you. that. When we come back, we wrap it up. Thank you. That's it. There's more of this going to happen on the twenty second of May, and okay. so Kofi, uh, the tickets. How do yes, we get it? Yes, the tickets. We started with the e ticket, then you know, please. Um, uh, let's, let's, then they tell the for inside. <laughs> no, please. There's yeah, no, yeah. there's no e levy oh, okay. in, inside. But, okay. but, but you know, I mean, let's let's please buy the ticket. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah. go, how go much ahead. is it? it, it, it. Go, the regular goes for sixty cities, and then wow. one fifty for VIP. VIP. But VIP, my VIP goes beyond just proximity to the stage. Okay. Or better still, it's, it has an experience attached to it. Are you sure? Because in Ghana, let me tell you, VIP people normally say go because they're like, they're like, go go na na. Know, they'll do the brofunema. So, me normally, I buy standard. Go na na. I buy standard. Go na na. It's true. Uh, but, but, it's very true. But my VIP, <laughs> yeah. my VIP promises to be an experience. Okay. Just get the VIP ticket. You come in there, you will meet all the artists on there. You just interact mm -hmm. with them in an enclosed area yeah. okay. with all our brands, the brands sponsoring us. And, okay. and I want to I wanna give them a little mentioning, you know, Metro TV, thank you so much. It is no joke. Um, Woodin to Boom oh, Play. Oh, wow. wow. Yes, Leclerc, so. yes, Woodin, um, uh, Boom Play, I Pay to DST. You have and all huge yeah. brands. Yeah, I mean, wow. For, 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 for a young <laughs> <laughs> artist. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh. I mean. <laughs> I mean, because we go there, we, we don't go there to, to just tell them to give us money. Yeah. You know, they are, they are business oriented. I hope it's not butter. It's not <laughs> butter. It's, but, 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 but I like Is the that? fact that you, you said that. I yeah. think because when these brands come to support you, yes. they are hoping to see that you be in the industry for a long time. Exactly. Yeah. So for Kofi Prepares yeah. Longevity yeah. in the music industry, what are some of the plans you have for the future? Exactly. Or after this one, are you just... Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, he won't. We, 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 we are working hard, and by the grace of God, you know, we've worked with people, so they, 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 we have a blueprint. Okay. You know, okay. we, we look at how they are sustaining themselves all these years and yeah. the things that we're doing and the things that we can better. Yeah. You know, so definitely humanitarian stuff, being consistent with our program, um, our programs and then mm. our administrations and our content creation okay. cannot be cannot be under, under emphasized, you know. Okay. okay. So 22nd May. Yeah. 22nd May. 22nd May. 22nd May. Somebody says 22nd May. 22nd May. That's how I think. But it's 2 2 May. 22nd May. Unfortunately, we can't have you. I want to give us a Oh, just a little Oh, Art Nene Sa. Bonim Rembo. Nyamitias Yoda. Art Yasi. So we have a mix of the contemporary and the, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's a good so climax. Yeah. 